going on everybody welcome back to Candroid crypto there's been a lot of activity revolving the crypto and crypto mining a lot lately you've seen I've done a couple videos pretty back, uh, fast back to back and we have another one coming right at you um, so I'm gearing up for more graphics cards but I don't necessarily have as many motherboards as I need to do it so I did go to the computer store the other day I picked up some items um, the first item is this uh, MSI X370 socket AM4 motherboard. Now I got this at a really good deal. This was on the clearance section. Uh, it was listed for $99 plus I got another 10% off on the motherboard. Um, yeah, so total price on the motherboard was $89.89. Pretty good deal. Um, the reason I picked up this motherboard because this is not just a basic motherboard. This is a very high-end motherboard and at a price of basically $89 you get technically you could have one, two, three, four, five. Technically there's six PCI Express slots on this motherboard. So um, even if you want to do cards alone, you could do one, two, three cards direct on the motherboard. And you might get a fourth one here with your uh, a single PCI Express slot. So I'm, I'm hoping to get anywhere from four to six graphics cards on this motherboard. So for $89, guys, I think it's a steal. It's absolute steal. It's not a cheap board by any means. And as soon as I saw it on clearance, I was like, yep, score. So I picked up that motherboard. I picked up the cheapest AM4 CPU I could find. Um, there's not many of these floating around in the aftermarket area. So $89 for a CPU. And then I picked up uh, DDR4, 8 gigs of G-Skill memory. Again, I'm like, guys, just give me your cheapest stuff you have. $45. So there you go. So all in, guys, with taxes, motherboard, uh, CPU, memory $250 for the whole thing so this is going to be the basis of the next build so let's start putting this thing together there are a couple more items in the box um, I didn't actually believe they were here but they were hidden underneath the motherboard so we have the motherboard itself we have the driver disc um, have a bunch of cables here a couple SATA cables uh, we have the IO not that we really need that, but uh, yeah, it looks like everything's in the box, guys. And it's, uh, you know, 15-day store warranty and one-year manufacturer warranty. So, for $89, can't go wrong. First things first, we're going to unbox our CPU. Nothing fancy, guys. Like I said, the cheapest Athlon AM4 CPU I could find in the store. Because we all know mining has really nothing to do with the CPU, especially if you're doing uh, GPU mining. If you do another kind of, you know, CPU mining, okay, maybe you want something more powerful. Um, I'm not doing CPU mining. I don't care about that. It's all about uh, affordable entry-level mining, guys, to get you going. So let's lift up the... Uh, I have to turn this around here a little bit. Just trying to see where the pinout is. Everything's all black on this board, so I cannot really tell. Okay, I do have an idea. Okay. First of all, let's get our CPU open here. Uh, be careful when you open this stuff, guys, because you do not want to drop these things. Uh, you will risk damaging the pins. And you don't really want to touch it too much. You just want to touch the sides. Okay. I don't know if you can see, but there's a little... There's a little... I guess triangle there in the corner so that is the corner we're going to try to line up and again it's very dark down here I really need better lighting and let me see okay so it looks like it looks like this is our corner up here um, you're going to know because you're just going to gently set your CPU in here 
if it seats itself without any force, it's in the right spot, guys. So it did seat. It seated down nice and easily. And let's clamp it down. Okay, there we go. Step one done. CPU mounted. Uh, step two. We do have a little cooler here. It does have some thermal paste on it already. And what we need to do is identify where our fan header is going to be. It looks like our fan header is going to be right here. Okay. And we want to keep this cable relatively out of the way. So I would suggest we probably put it like... I think we'll put it in roughly like this. Okay, you want to get that side clipped in. Okay, so I have both sides locked in and we're going to pull up on the blue tab. There we go. Uh, very, very small stock cooling fan. But it is also, guys, a, a, a CPU that is not very powerful. It shouldn't generate a lot of heat. Uh, but we're going to find out. Very, very low profile cooler on the CPU. And again, because we're not doing any CPU mining, it should not matter. We should be okay. So let's put all that stuff back in the box. So, $89 motherboard. $89 CPU guys and then the last little piece here is going to be uh, one one stick of DDR4 3000 RAM and it is an 8 gig stick so let's open that up Try to pop it out here there we go all right now, I don't know if it actually matters which slot we're in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it as far away from everything as I can. Uh, just to make as much space as I can for all the other components like the video cards. And we want to kind of maximize cooling. So the more space you give things, guys, the cooler things will run. Okay, line up your RAM. Clip one end in, clip the other end in. You'll hear them clip. Okay. So there we go, guys. Uh, $250 brand new motherboard combo, essentially. Uh, AMD, AMD Socket AM4 X370 MSI motherboard. Athlon, I think this is the 3000G or something. Yeah, Athlon 3000G with Radeon graphics. Um, don't care and 8 gigs of RAM alright so the next step guys we're gonna power up this motherboard we're gonna make sure it's working uh, because I only have a certain amount of time to return this to the store if it's not working so there is a little bit of a time crunch on the video I have probably had this product for about a week and I need to get it installed and I need to get it tested check it out guys another project I've been working on here um, I'm building like a a double ATX motherboard mining frame um, and I'm gonna have it where the option is you could put your cards in the board or you can put your cards on an upper deck here uh, you can do hybrid or a combination of both so um, this is a project that's kind of been in the works for a little while you haven't seen it before but you did see this power supply recently I picked this RM 1000 X up for $85 and of course we're going to put that new motherboard into this frame and we're going to get it powered up get it tested and probably get it mining there we go we have the motherboard mounted on the wooden frame i have all the standoffs in so three six i have all nine standoffs in and i have about i'd say six or seven screws in right now just enough to hold it in place i gotta find a couple more screws Okay, anyways guys, I'm going to move this over to my cold room. We're going to plug in our RM1000X. This is going to be the power supply behind this beast because I'm expecting to get as many as six graphics cards on this motherboard, if possible. 
three to six. So we're gonna see, but we have a thousand watt power supply. We got tons of power to do it. Okay, let me take that over to cold room. Let me get this powered up. I'll drop a graphics card in it and we'll see if it's gonna power up. As I've got the, uh, the little DIY mining frame and the new setup moved over into my little cold room area. You can see I got red behind me, which was a new addition. And this is our next new addition that's really going to let us expand some graphics cards here. Um, all right, let's uh, take a look there. So I'm just using the onboard uh, video for now. I haven't put a graphics card in it. I just want to like minimize it as much as I can and power it up and make sure everything's working. Uh, I have a hard drive there with Windows 10 installed on it. And uh, yeah, let's let's get it powered up, guys. Let's see what happens. All right, we do have some life on the motherboard. We got something lit up. Let's see if we get anything on the monitor here. Come on, baby. Okay, I have no output from the onboard graphics. Monitor is plugged in. Okay, I may have to go get a graphics card and pop it in here after all. Um, it could be that somebody has disabled the onboard graphics or something. I'm not sure. Be right back. All right, I've thrown in my mighty GTX 550 Ti. Um, this is why I kind of have these cards still kicking around, just little test cards. Let's try the rig again with uh, video card graphics instead of on board. Let's see what we get. Power supply is on. Okay, there we go. Little two pin power switch trick. I'm not getting anything. No video here. Alright guys, I got more troubleshooting to do here. I don't know what's going on. The, the motherboard's running Motherboard's on. It came on when I hit the switch. Video cards got power. Fans are spinning. But, uh, yeah. We have no video. So, quick update on the motherboard, guys. Um, I went back to Canon Computers the other day, and we kind of figured out we, what we think is the problem. Um, this motherboard has an old BIOS on it. It will not boot this 3000G CPU because it has an old BIOS, and it's not meant to do it. So what I need to do, pull the CPU out, find an older Gen 1 or Gen 2 CPU, drop it back in, flash the board, get it up to the latest BIOS, take that CPU out, put the CPU back in, and then we should be good. So a bit of a catch-22, but we're going to try to get it done today. I'll be right back. Bam, check it out guys. Uh, so it worked. I was able to put in a Gen 2 CPU, get the motherboard flashed, able to switch that out, put my Gen 3 back in, and the board is booted. You can see here now, uh, in the, one of the previous clips you saw there was a red light down here where my finger is. That was a CPU light. Um, so as soon as I saw that lit up, I went to the book and I was like, okay. And then I started talking to Canon computers. We kind of figured out that Right, it is a newer CPU that cannot boot with the BIOS that was on the board. So we have succeeded by switching the CPU in and out that we do have the board up and running. I got my little 550Ti in there right now, just testing. That card is probably sold, so we're probably picking it up tomorrow. And uh, there you go. I have it loaded into Windows. So technically this little board is ready to be put to work. So yeah guys, thanks for tuning in, uh, like and subscribe, and check your clearance section of your uh, your computer stores and stuff. Yeah, it's an older board, you might run into some issues about having to flash the board and jump it through a couple hoops to get it up and running, but uh, sometimes it's worth it guys. $89 motherboard, and the MSRP on this board is about $250, so it was a good deal. So good rig, we're at uh, like 250, another 85 for the power supply. So there you go, what's that, 300 and, 
$35, give or, give or take, for a, a brand new AM4 system with a 1,000 watt power supply. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Happy mining.